Samsung's not shy about loading its products with lots of useful software features, whether they be obvious or hidden and secret. That includes the Galaxy Watch 6 and the Watch 6 Classic, so if you have one of the new models or even an old model running the new software, there's plenty to discover if you're happy to go digging. I'm Cam Bunsen from Pocketlint, and in this video I'm going to show you some of my favourites. Number one is controlling your Samsung camera from your watch. With the right Samsung phone connected, which is essentially any Galaxy S series or Galaxy Z Flip or Z Fold from the past two or three years, you can use the Galaxy Watch to remotely trigger the shutter button on the camera or record a video. It's simple enough to do, so just make sure your phone and watch are connected by opening the Galaxy wearable app and checking the home screen. Now on the watch, find the camera controller app, which looks like a red circle with a white camera icon. When you tap it, it should connect and launch the camera app on your phone. Tap the shutter button to take a shot or swipe across to the video camera to shoot video. If you want to disable the timer, you can do that by tapping the little timer icon at the top of the screen. And if you want to switch cameras, you'll need to do that on the phone itself. Next tip is turning on fall detection. Thanks to the smartwatch's host of motion sensors and the precision of those sensors, Samsung has added a feature whereby it can tell if you've had a hard fall and you might be in some danger. Whether it's because you're generally a little unsteady on your feet or you're navigating tough scrambly conditions, it could be something that keeps you safe. When switched on, you can have it automatically send a message to a loved one to inform them or even contact emergency services. To activate and use it, open your Samsung wearable app on your connected Android phone. Now tap on the watch settings and find safety and emergency and toggle on the hard fall detection switch. Now you need to customize what it does and how it activates. So tap on hard fall detection to go to the customization screen. Here you can toggle a countdown on or off or change the length of the countdown as well as toggle on the alert sound so that you're alerted to the fact it's counting down to an action. There's also a field for inputting your local emergency number an option to change when it detects falls, which could be always during physical activity or only during workouts. At the very bottom is an option for adding your emergency contacts. If you tap on it, you can add members that you want to alert and then go back to toggle it all on. You get all of these same options on your watch if you go to settings on your watch and head to safety and emergency and then choose the hard fall detection option on the watch screen. Your next tip is replacing Bigsby with Google Assistant. So Samsung's Bigsby Assistant isn't the most useful voice assistant on the planet, but thanks to the watch being loaded with Wear OS by Google, it has Google Assistant on it already too. If you launch it, it'll take you through a setup process on your phone the first time, but once active, you can replace Bigsby by changing the button shortcuts. By default, when you press and hold the top button, also called the home button, it launches Bigsby. To change that so it launches Google Assistant instead, open settings on your watch and find advanced features and then customize buttons. In the home button section, choose press and hold and then choose Assistant instead. Now a long press on the home button will launch Google Assistant. Winner! Next up is quick launching any app with a button press. Now in the same menu as the previous tip, you'll find an option to assign a function to a double press of the home button. By default, the function it launches is the most recently used app. It can be handy if you've got a workout running and you've accidentally gone to your watch face and you want to go back again. But you can have it launch a specific app instead, like Google Wallet or the camera controller I showed you earlier, or basically any other app. Just tap the double press option in the advanced features list. Now choose one of the apps for quick launching with a double press. Next up, a quick torch with a hand gesture. Now in a similar vein, there's an option to quick launch any app using a hand gesture. In fact, Samsung's watch has a number of different gestures to get accustomed to, if you want to enable them, that is. One gesture is a quick movement with your hand in a fist where you basically bend your wrist up and down twice. And it can launch any app or function of your choice. So you can, for instance, use it to quickly turn on the torch without touching the screen. So open the wearable app or go into your watch's settings menu and in advanced features, find quick launch. Now toggle it on, tap select an option and now choose turn on torch. Or if you don't want that function, choose any of the other apps installed on your watch from the list instead. Our next tip is declining calls with a gesture. Again, similar to the last tip, you can reject calls and silence alerts with a hand gesture. If you toggle on the option that's called dismiss alerts and calls, you can then rotate your wrist twice to decline incoming calls quickly without touching your screen. One essential tip is learning how to shut it off or power it down. And this one's easy once you know where to find the power button. Just swipe down your quick settings tiles from the top of the screen and tap the power icon. On the next screen, just tap the red power button and the watch will switch off. Next up is editing your quick settings tiles. So like any Android phone, you can customize which quick access settings toggles appear when you swipe down from the top of the screen. 
Just swipe down on the screen and then swipe across to the last one and then tap the grayed out plus button. Now you can hit the minus button on any icon you want to remove or you can drag and drop any to reorder them. Or just tap on the green plus to add toggles that aren't already on that sheet. Next up is all about customization and it's changing the font style size and the weight. Because it's Samsung you get quite a lot of customization choices on the Galaxy Watch 6. Among them is the option to change the style of font. So if you drop down into the watch's settings menu and choose display and scroll all the way down until you see font style, there are six styles to choose from, including the default style. Once you've chosen the preferred style, you can go back to the display menu and toggle on bold font if you want a thicker weight. Or if you want to change the size, tap font size and press the plus or the minus until the text is at a size that you find easy to read. On a more health related topic, the next tip is adding snore detection to your sleep tracking. So the Galaxy Watch 6 has a great in-depth sleep tracking and coaching feature. And if you want to, you can also set it up to monitor your snoring. If you can face it, you can also add recordings of snoring when it's been detected. So open settings on the watch and choose health and then snore detection. It'll then tell you to continue the setup and change settings on your phone. So unlock your phone and carry on there. You can choose whether you want snore detection on or off. You can tell it to record it every night or just the one night. You can even toggle on the recording audio function to record snippets of your snoring. And there's an option for choosing how long you want to keep those recordings until your device automatically wipes them. Once active though, if your phone is by your bedside near you while you're asleep, it'll listen out for snoring and add it to your sleep analysis. Another useful tip is changing your watch orientation. For whatever reason, you might decide after using your watch for a while that you want to change which side the buttons are on or that you'd prefer to wear it on the other wrist. Regardless of which or why, you can change the orientation whenever you like. Open the Galaxy wearable app on your phone and then choose General. Now choose Orientation. To change arms, choose left or right under wrist. And to change button position, just choose left or right under button position. Simple. Another handy navigation tip is quickly scrolling through lists. So if you're looking to find a specific person in your contacts list or scroll through a long list of any options on the watch, you can scroll quicker jumping to specific parts or people just by running your finger quickly around the very edge or the bezel of the display in clockwise or anti-clockwise directions. Your next tip is choosing which apps can and can't deliver notifications to your watch. So if you're not careful, your smartwatch can become a pestering device that vibrates on your arm every single time you get a notification to an app on your phone. Thankfully, you can customize which apps are allowed to notify you on your watch. Open the Galaxy wearable app on your phone and then open watch settings. Now choose notifications and on the next screen select app notifications. Scroll through your list of apps and toggle the apps that you want on and toggle the ones that you don't want off. Or if you want it completely silent, just toggle them all off using the main toggle switch at the top of the screen. One really useful tip is backing up your watch to Samsung's cloud system. So backing up to the cloud is really useful if you want to be sure your Samsung Galaxy Watch settings and preferences are available to you when you change your watch or your phone. In the watch settings menu in the wearable smartphone app, there's an account and backup option. Choose it and then toggle on the save backup to Samsung cloud switch. With this on, if you factory reset or buy a new watch and then sign into your Samsung account from it, you'll have a backup available to restore. Our next tip is adding images and music to your watch. So if you'd like local images or music saved directly onto the watch's storage, either because you want to create custom watch faces with your own images as wallpapers, or you want to listen to offline music, you can add them using the Galaxy wearable app. Open the watch settings and then find manage content. Add tracks on the watch to move any audio files you have onto your watch, or add images under gallery to select photos you've taken. Or choose add images under gallery to select photos you've taken and transfer them to your watch. One unmissable tip is finding your phone with your watch or finding your watch with your phone. One of my most used features is using my watch to find where I put my phone down. It's really easy to do. Just swipe down quick settings on your watch and swipe across until you see the icon that looks like a rectangle and a magnifying glass. Tap it and your phone will start playing a loud tune. To find your misplaced watch with your phone, just open the Galaxy wearable app and tap find my watch at the bottom of the screen. If you've not set up smart things yet, you might have to go through the setup process for the app, but once it's active, you'll see the option to ring your watch right there on the screen under a map. If you tap more, you'll get to another screen where you can activate a notification that alerts you when you've left your watch behind. Or share your phone's location with your watch so you can find it on the map. So there you go, just a few tips and features I found really useful with the Galaxy Watch 6. If you found this video useful, please do leave a thumbs up, tap subscribe and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any more of our videos. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Threads, so you can follow me there or shout at me if you want to. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.